this process locale method will read your browser language after reading your browser language it will prepare one locale object you know java locale right it will pack is locale object so here it will locale object locale l equal to new locale of lang okay don't feel it as complex okay at the end of the day you can realize all this okay now itself you can't i know right so then i can able to feel like uh, free you don't know right these all concepts you can realize slowly one by one one by one you can realize all these things okay here create a local object store this local object it will store this local object into session scope session dot set attribute org dot apache dot struts dot locale by using this name by using this name here it will store locale object actually he designed in this way and how many times this process locale method it will execute for browser for a session only one time it will execute in case if you open a browser without closing that browser if you submit request any number of times also this process locale this code it will execute only one time this code will execute only one time per session per session means per browser once if you open browser and once if you close the browser then one session will completes okay so this code it will execute per session he designed in that way so per session it will execute this code per session per session it will execute this code okay then after storing your language value this process method what it will do <coughs> we have one more method process form bean method process form beans method the next it will call this process form bean method process form bean method this process form bean method what it will do it will read a data from your request object which data your form data it will read it will read your form data from here if you submit username password if you want to store that username password into bean who will store here this process form bean method only will store this process form bean method will read data from your request object after reading this data this data it will store into bean object actually bean object created by whom actions are let process method it will create your bean class object for the required form for your form it will create object and that object it will store under session scope so here how to get that object from session scope it need to get so from session scope it will get your object from session it will get your bean it will get your bean reference in this bean reference it will store your request scope data but to store this request scope data into this bean in this bean i can have any number of like any number of properties it depends on my form right i can have any number of properties here along with my required data types from here if i send id id type if it is integer from request object we can read a string type of data but storing into bean we need to store into our required type so here from this string to bean here what it will do it will do type casting here it will do type casting by casting your data type cast it will do type cast your data and it will store required type into your bean object after storing data into this bean object then next what it need to do after holding data into your bean object then this process method will call one more method this process will call one more method which method it will call process validations we have one method process validations process validation process validation the next it will call this process validation method that process validation method what it will do it will get your bean object it will get your same bean reference it will get your same bean reference from session scope 
after storing data into this bean again it will keep it into session scope from that session scope again it will get your bean from that session scope it will get your bean in that bean already we have data right it will get your bean on this bean it will call validate method it will call validate method it will get your bean from session and it will call validate method validate method will return one value right validate method finally it will return one value it will return which value action error object it will return so this process validate method will get that action error object after getting that action error object what it will do it will count to that action errors ae dot i count there is one variable i count it will call this i count if this i count if it is equal to 0 0 means no error if it is else if it is not equal to 0 there are some errors so what it need to do if it find any errors it need to forward that errors to same input page so whenever it find errors here actually form to bean configuration we have then again bean to form configuration also we have to do here right by using which tag we need to do here by using input attribute you need to do here input attribute your same page name if the page name is login.jsp that page name you should configure here login.jsp then in case if it find any error messages in this action error object it will redirect one page login.jsp page from here it will redirect by using request to dispatcher dot forward it will forward your request to same login.jsp page request and response objects it will pass to your login.jsp page by using which mechanism request to dispatcher forward mechanism okay instead of using response dot send redirect internally it is using request to dispatcher forward so by using that request to dispatcher forward it will forward same login page whenever it forward same login page here in that login page what it will populate if it find any valid data in your bean that valid data it will populate and if it have any invalid data that invalid data it will delete and along with that invalid data deletion it will populate your action error object data also here your action error object data also it will populate on your same input form okay and again if i submit from the same form once if i once after getting error messages here once again if i submit the same form again process is same that form request first it will go to do get method or do post method from there it will call process method process method will check whether this object is there in session scope or not if it find in session scope it will not create one more object until closing your browser the same object it will use means only one time it will create your bean object until closing your session the same bean it will use here okay so whenever you submit request process method first it will check session scope objects if it find any object already for your login again it will not create any object just it will call your request to processor utils this one is a factory class what it will do already if it find any request to processor object it will not create one more the same request to processor reference it will return then by using that request to processor reference it will call process method whenever it call process process will call first process pre-process method if it return any boolean value false a blank page it will return it will not do anything but if it return true it will call process locale this process locale will execute only for session so already this session for this session this code executed so again this code it will not execute so then next to process method what it will call it will call process form b then what it will do here it will read again data that data it will try to store into your bean object now if you send valid data it will call validate method in this validate method if it not find any error messages now if it not find any error messages in case of else here we have one more attribute type 
in that type we can configure controller class if it is else your controller class object it will create it will create your controller class object okay we need to have one more component here controller it will create your controller class object in that controller class we have one method execute method okay it will create your controller class object and it will forward your same bean object that same bean object it will forward to your controller that same bean it will forward to controller so then in that controller what we can do finally your valid bean data you can get here after getting your valid bean data you can process it after completion of process we need to return a object here action forward action forward that return type is action forward in that action forward actually we should forward success or failure names success or failure names only we should forward so in case if you forward success to this method if you forward success to this method what it will do for that success it will try to find out again mapping scheme how many mappings we should configure for each action four four mappings we required those are what one is form to bean bean to form then bean to controller controller to success page or failure page so here by using this type we are mapping to controller after completion of process in controller in between action and action they given one more tag forward tag forward name success for this success you are required success page you can configure here success dot gsp so whenever you return success name here for that success name it will try to read forward configurations if it find any page that page it will redirect finally to the user as a success page okay simple architecture just given two classes actions are let request to process okay in this request to process you have to remember only five methods process process pre process process local process form bean process validations and who will call actually all these methods process method only process method will call one by one one by one all these methods and the process pre process method responsibility pre processing operations if you want to write any pre process operations by extending request to processor you can override this method here you can write your required pre process operations okay or else you no need to write they given one default request to processor in that default request to processor always it will return boolean value true only in case while writing custom request to processor if you want to write any security you can write here okay until unless security and pre process operations we no need to write any request to processor by default action servlet will create one request to processor object and it will execute it and then after process pre process this one will call process local it will store your browser language then next it will call process form bean method in this process form bean method from request it will read your data after reading data it will store the data into bean and it will do internally implicit type castings after storing data into this bean it will call process validate method this process validate method will call validate method from your bean object in that bean if it find any invalid data usually we used to configure error messages under action error object in that action error object it will count error messages if it find error messages then we need it need to forward error messages to the same page so which page it need to forward to input page if there is no error messages it need to go to this bean it need to map to controller it need to map to controller then this controller can read bean data and it can process it finally it need to forward simple success or failure names only it need to forward so for that names actual success pages or failure pages we should configure here by using forwards so whenever it return success here it will read your forward configuration and if it find any forward configuration here that page finally it will forward to the user okay 
So you can write a programmatic security or else if you have any approach anything you can write here finally you need to return false you can write anything here any type of security here finally you just return false in case security fails okay it depends which type of security means module level security user level security okay container level security and you can do anything here 